Hey everyone, it's Vicki, and I hope everybody's doing well today. And if you're not doing well, take care of yourself and eat right and move your body. So I'm up to 105 miles today. By the end of the week, maybe tomorrow, I should be doing 110, which would be the longest run I've ever done for a whole week. Okay. So if you're not going, or you didn't sign up for the Woodstock Fruit Festival, second annual that my husband Michael and I are putting on, then what are you waiting for? You need to sign up. Because it is one of the best weeks of your life. It's life changing. It's going to be something that's going to be with you for the rest of your life. You're going to take something home from this. It's going to have such an effect on you. I mean, I'm in this game for a while, and I went last year, of course I put it on. But I went as a guest, I really did, and I really was changed for life. I just, the lectures and having people on hand like Dr. Graham and uh, just, you know, Don Bennett and everybody that has written, um, you know, these books that you read and all these, you know, all the information, all the leaders in the movement that make videos like Dan McDonald and Harley, they're going to be there and you're going to be able to... T Go up to them and ask them anything you want and get out of your computer and go and be in person. So the Woodstock Fruit Festival, it's going to be amazing in a much better place. Uh, it's at a sleepaway camp that is going to be, it's going to have so much stuff to do. We're going to have uh, rock climbing and the lake there is magnificent and it's just so pure and beautiful and the people there are going to be great too because double the amount of last year. It's about 400 people and kids under 13 are free and we have babysitting lifeguards on duty at all times and movie night and you know party night and bonfires it's just <laughs> I can't wait August 20th to the 28th please look it up at www.thewoodstockfruitfestival.com okay now I was also inspired by a friend of mine today I was talking to her about how she did something that she hadn't done, you know, for herself. She's always taking care of everybody else in her family. And she did, she went on a vacation and she took care of herself like a spa. And I have to tell you, I really encourage everybody, if you have the means to go and take care of yourself, carve out a little time for yourself and really enjoy being you and stop taking care of somebody else for, you know, just a little while. You can really appreciate yourself and live in the here and now. Being anxious and um, being annoyed at things, that happens, that happens when you don't have enough sleep. It happens when you don't eat right. These are the things that used to happen to me much more often. They don't happen to me as, as often as they did. And, and when they do happen, I recognize it more now. And I recognize what I'm not getting. So I'll take care of that. It's like a checklist. It's in... Um, everybody's interest to know about you know what a baby needs let's say a baby is crying for a reason uh, you know there are things that we have to take care of as adults for ourselves that we need a checklist also you know uh, baby cries for a wet diaper we change it you know find out what it is that you're cranky about and what you're not getting you're not getting enough sleep check the list you're not getting enough water check it off see what what's going on you know make your checklist on your own body and see what you're not getting you're not getting enough love somewhere go love yourself some in, in some other way you know go take care of yourself don't wait for someone else to do it these things are going to nurture who you are and then you will be better as a parent you'll be better off as a partner um, as a, you know as anything as a daughter You'll just be better off because you'll be more in tune with yourself. And a clean diet really helps in that. And it's helped me tremendously. I've been on both sides of the fence. I've, I've gone on the crappy diet. I've gone on the weight loss diets. And I've gone on the, you know, really clean diet. And the clean diet wins every time. Every single time. So clean up your act. Write your checklist. See what you've got missing on that checklist. And... Take care of it, just like you would a baby. Baby yourself is what I'm saying, basically. And get your ass to the Woodside Fruit Festival because it is, I mean, it's priceless. It really is. You really can't put a price on a life-changing event.
this this event is going to be one week, but it's going to feel like such a big part of your life. I'm still talking about it. People are still talking about this Woodstock Fruit Festival. That happened last year, okay? So you have no idea. I mean, the, the, the handshake was a hug. I mean, that's what our standard handshake. People just wanted to hug each other. They were eating well. They were sleeping. They were getting what they needed. And that's really what it's all about, you know? Just get what you need and learn how to do it. You know, you, you don't know certain things. You learn how to do them. Uh, you don't know how to fix your own teeth. You go to a dentist. You know, you have an eye doctor. You have certain things for certain situations. You know, learn more about health. I'm still learning, and I'm doing this for a while. I still have to learn so much. If you go through life as a student, you really will pick up more and more stuff that, you know, you'll have an open mind, and you'll be able to just grasp more, and so the Woodstock Fruit Festival is a perfect, perfect place to get your needs met as far as education and making connections. Let me tell you something. I really believe people are going to make connections for life. Okay, you're going to meet people that you can't believe you haven't met in the past or you've just seen them through your computer in cyberspace. But now you'll be with them for a whole week, you know? That's amazing. Your kids could be friends with the other kids. I mean, kids are free under 13. How could you do better than that? All the fruit you can eat, all the fruit you can eat at all times, at any time. It's just my kids, you know, didn't only eat fruit. But last year, they didn't even realize that they were just eating fruit. They were just going to the cafeteria whenever they wanted, whenever they wanted to eat. And they were so happy. They really, really loved it. You know, when you have so much to do, and you have so much to do much more now than you did before at the other fruit festival, because there's so much more to do and more activities, you, they're going to feel like they're at sleepaway camp. It's just incredible. Okay, sign up now. Take care. And see me on onefruitatatime.com or onefruitatatime on Facebook. Thanks. Bye.